Well, many of you this morning found out that the commute was going to be a slick one. Wet pavement for a lot of us, but Bob says fog will be a story later tonight and for tomorrow morning's commute. Yes, it will. With all that newly fallen moisture that fell in the form of some snow and some rain at times, mm -hmm. uh, even a freezing rain mix over by Ontario mm -hmm. for a time. Well, it's produced a lot more moisture in the atmosphere and on the ground. Temperatures cooling tonight. That will mean some fog. That'll be our big weather story. Let's go right to our weather headlines. The other story, how it continues to snow. Over in the Magic Valley, they're still looking at uh, some problems over there. The fog makes a return engagement. Hey, we are looking at the possibility of some sun Tuesday through Friday, according to the computer models. However, uh, they don't pick up the fog. They don't usually do a very good job with the fog and the aversion conditions trapped in the valley. So I think it's possible we might not break out. If it was just up to the computer models, we would see some sunshine later this week. Doppler radar still has some snow going down there in the Magic Valley. They're looking at some slick roads in the meantime. Here in Boise, our precipitation for the most part has wound down. That's why the winter weather advisory has expired for us, but it's still going there in the Magic Valley. In fact, it might even be extended. 32 degrees for Nampa, 33 in Eagle. Boise still at 32. That's where we were all morning. If we were dropped below that, then we would have had some real slick roads. They weren't too bad. Most of them were just wet, the main thoroughfares anyway. Satellite and radar has that disturbance. You can see the counterclockwise rotation there. Here is where it's going to head. As we go into our future cast, you can see that disturbance continues to move to the southeast, mainly affecting uh, northern Utah and portions of, uh, looks like, uh, Colorado. But we will start to uh, clear up. That's above the fog and that layer of stratus clouds here in the valley. Most locations, uh, the snow is over with. Just some cloudy skies to deal with now. You might break out into some sunshine for many of our uh, locations, especially our mountain locations. But uh, it's possible many locations, especially in the valleys, will stay socked in with a layer of stratus clouds, or maybe at best some cloud filtered sunshine. So uh, for your Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're looking at sunshine, at least for our mountain locations, but it's possible with this inversion strengthening, we'll just stay cloudy and overcast. For Saturday, that's our next best chance seeing some precipitation, and that's a 30% chance with a milder temperatures. It'll be all rain. Look at that high wow. on Saturday, 45. 45. Yeah, that is, what is it, about uh, 8 degrees above normal. Normal is 37 this time of the year. Mm -hmm. And even our overnight lows will be above normal into the 30s. All right. Thanks, Bob.